Hello, this is Troy from Dashcam Owners Australia bringing you another Dashcam review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Street Guardian SG9665GC. The GC is a full high definition 1080p camera that records at 30 frames per second. It also features GPS, motion detection, and wide dynamic range for excellent night recording. This camera retails for 289 Australian dollars. Now, as usual, we'll start off by taking a look at what comes in the box with this particular camera. And you do get quite a lot for your money. Starting at the top left, we have the actual camera. Moving across to the right, we have our quick start guide, a carrying pouch, our charging cable. Then we have our 32GB SD card that's pre-installed in the camera with the uh, adapter, a card reader, three sticky pads, the GPS module, a couple different mounting angles, an assortment of stickers, two windscreen cleaners, a whole bunch of cable clips, and a cable hider. As with the last Street Guardian, the OTG card reader can be used in particular mobile phones to review footage using the supplied reader. Now we'll take a look at the actual unit itself in a virtual tour here. This is the side that mounts to the windscreen. As I mentioned, there are two different mounts there. Both of them have a slightly different angle to account for different windscreen angles. That's the uh, side angle there where you can adjust the lens angle as well. On the other side we have our microphone and our memory card insert as well as another position angle on the lens. On the back of the camera here we have our menu button. On the left we have our power button, then our menu button. The middle is our OK button which also doubles as the event recording button. Our recording button and our microphone on and off button. The record and microphone buttons double as the navigation for the menu. From the rear of the camera we have our power supply input, our GPS input in the middle, and the AV output on the far right. And as usual a few shots of the camera here mounted inside the car just so you get a better idea of the actual size of this camera. As you can see it is quite small and it does fit very nicely up above the mirror. Now I'll give you a quick run through of the menu options on this camera and just apologies in advance, this footage of me recording the actual menu screens isn't very good but it should get the point across nonetheless. Now starting off with the first menu we'll go through our resolution options and there is only one, it's 1080p full HD at 30 frames a second. Our loop recording we have 1 minute, 3 minutes, 5 minutes, I'm running 1 minute clips. Wide dynamic range, off and on, that's for your increased nighttime visibility. Then you have some exposure settings. I've left mine in the standard at zero. But as you can see there's a few there. Next on we have motion detection on and off. This is based off the CMOS sensor. Then we have recording audio, so the microphone on or off. Our date stamp on the footage on and off. Display the Street Guardian logo in the bottom left on and off. I just left it on. Then we have our GPS options, so off and on and our G sensor, low, middle, high, I have it set to off. Now our next set of menu options, we start with the date and time options there. Our time zone options, so I've got mine set to GMT 10 for Sydney, which will mean they are an hour out due to daylight savings. Our boot delay times, auto power off, so one minute, three minutes, five minutes are off. Next options are our beep sound, so off and on. Our language options here, alright next to the TV mode, so NTSC and PAL, we have our Hertz or frequency, so 50, 60 Hertz. Next we have our screen saver options, so 15 seconds, 1 minute, 3 minutes or off, our option to format the card, our revert to default settings. Here we can set our driver number, I've set mine to DCOA, which you'll see in the footage, and our firmware number, which is SG2015-0305.002. And now thanks for bearing with me through that, now we can get on to some actual footage of this camera, which is, let's be honest, that's what you're here to see. We'll start off with some nice early morning footage, a uh, bright sunny day, very little cloud in the sky, should give you a good idea what this camera is like. Now, as you can see, just a little bit of traffic on this sort of back street here, just so you can get an idea of some license plates and 
finer details as you can see the quality on this camera is very very nice lots of good detail in the footage you can make out plenty of detail on the side buildings like even the text is clear to read just <laughs> unfortunately even the graffiti over there now we'll just move into this uh, standard sort of footage I do with all the cameras driving down this main street here of Cronulla it just gives you a sort of decent idea on how well the camera can do with the changing light and the sky and just picking up the license plates and details and all the buildings around now in a moment this clip's going to transition over into the next one minute segment of film and it'll give you an idea of what it's like as you could see there it's not a totally seamless recording there is about a one second overlap between clips which is good it means you don't miss out on anything important now nearly any camera on the market can get half decent results during the day so let's take a look at some nighttime footage now when I first reviewed this footage I was swore it was a lot darker outside luckily I had another camera just a cheapy sort of mounted next to it so I could actually compare these two which I'll show you now now I didn't actually plan to compare cameras or anything in this review but um I just wanted to show you actually what kind of difference this camera makes at night compared to a sort of standard or cheaper end camera now back to some uh, GC footage here now hopefully you sort of believe me on that nighttime stuff I'm not trying to dupe is in any way I just wanted to make the point how well this camera does in low light situations now saying that we'll move to some actual like quite dark footage but going through a main street here so we'll see how well it does there now here we are heading back up towards Cronulla Main Street so I can give you an idea of what it's like during darker time through there and I'll just stop talking for a moment so you can take in some of the ambient sound As you probably heard there, the camera did quite a nice job of picking up all that sort of background audio and the uh, nighttime vision as well as doing quite a nice job. The only time I found that the audio really struggled was if I had the uh, music turned up quite loud, it did distort a little bit. But apart from that, normal driving does a very nice job on picking up the audio. Now, I'll just give you one final example of the nighttime footage on this camera, just traveling through the uh, main street here of Caringbar just to give you an idea what it's like with the bit of vehicle speed as you know that can blur a bit on some cameras but this one still does quite a nice job even when the vehicle is moving so it's probably one of the better nighttime cameras I've seen around it probably rivals right way up there with the uh, Mini 0806 and the Marcus 4 in terms of its nighttime ability but in that very small sort of complete package now as usual I'll move on to my pros and cons of the camera now my pros for this camera are the excellent video quality uh, the complete package so it comes with everything you need the memory card memory card readers anything you might need with a camera basically uh, it's a small unit so it's very nice if you're after something subtle and there's always good support from the manufacturer Street Guardian are always releasing updates and making changes to get the best out of their products now on that note it's time to take a look at some of the cons with this camera now the main cons I had with this camera was there's no option to display the GPS on the actual video uh, it's only viewable through playback with like the uh, program registrator viewer which is what they recommend for this camera uh, there was no AV out cable included with the package so you can't play back on your TV straight out of the box and uh, the external GPS module I do prefer cameras where it's built in but on this there's not a lot of room obviously due to the small size of the unit 
Now on the whole I think this is a very good and reliable camera and it's definitely something to look into if you're after something small that's just going to do the job. I'll place a link down in the description, it'll be a coupon code to get you $20 off this camera making it $269. Um, that coupon will be valid for about a month after I release this review so worth checking out if you're interested. Otherwise thank you for watching and have a good day.